So I'm finally making this updated curly hair routine like I've seen the comments asking you know have I been using the same products what do I use now because my hair has been looking a little bit more defined lately so I said as I said in my first video like I change up my products all the time anyways because my hair tends to get used to products this video was inevitable so <laughs> let's just get right into it Start off by saying that I'm using one of the same products that I use in other videos is still going to be two products. Whenever I, um, like I try to make up these little concoctions for my hair, I always like, is that even a word? I don't know. Because I don't want to be putting so much stuff in my hair to weigh it down. And because I just don't have time to do that. Like I have too much hair. Like putting in like multiple products is going to take more time than what it already does. So I just try to keep it bare minimum. Um, the two products that I'm going to be using are these two products first product is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream this is what it looks like I just recently got this but I have used this like twice or something like that and it leaves my curls so defined it's super moisturizing if you've been looking for something like a cream like something that's gonna make your curls defined this is definitely what you should get and it's pretty big bottle so this is pretty good and then I'm going to be using the same thing that I used in my last video, the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is almost out. Um, but yeah, so you only need to buy one more product if you already have this. Save those coins, girl. Products are really expensive. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I use in my hair is the Cantu Shea Butter Curl Activator Cream. So I first split my hair into like at least one bottom section. So that would be my first section and I split that into further two more sections. I'm going to take some of this like much. That's a little too much, but and this smells like a little bit like pineapples, I don't know. I first rake it into my hair like this and then you'll see like the curls start to form. And oops, I took a little too much out in the front with that seat. It's because I don't have a mirror in front of me, but whatever. It's all the same thing. So after you rake it into your hair, you scrunch it up again. So you see how it forms like all nice and pretty. And so yeah, this cream is like a gift from the curl gods. And do the same thing over here. See so yeah, after you rake it into your hair, you scrunch it. And then it'll be like that. Um, we've already applied the Cantu cream. And now we're going to... Don't do that. But we're going to use the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I've used this like religiously. Like I have barely anything left. But I'm taking some of this teeny bit. This is just to like basically seal in what we put in with the Cantu. And just... With this, I'm not so much raking it into my hair, but more like, as you can see, like I'm holding it and pressing it into my hair, basically, to solidify. So you don't really need much, that's why I'm still using the bit that I have left, <laughs> because it's enough for my head. I'm going to take another section down, like that much. after this one section I'm gonna like speed up the rest of this so that we're not here for an hour watching me do the same thing over and over again yeah we're doing the same thing working it in first get in curl it back up take some of the curling hand tea smoothie So now that we're at the very top of the hair, 
we're going to take it down and part it down the middle. This doesn't have to be a clean part. Well, it'll only be a clean part if you want to have a middle part, but I don't do middle parts, I just do this so it's easier to manage. Take two sections, I'm taking smaller amounts because um, I don't like to put too much product in my hair as I said before because it'll, I find that it tends to weigh down my hair. You see how like nice that just, ooh, how did you curls come through curls? <laughs> But as I was saying, I don't put as much hair product in the front of my hair, like when I do smaller sections because putting too much hair can weigh down your hair. Putting too much hair, putting too much product can weigh down your hair and it can just make your curls look like a little dead. So instead, put a little bit, this is the result. What you could do is take your finger, like this, and then wrap it around. And you want to make sure that you wrap it around in the way that your curls naturally curl up. So mine naturally go this way, so I'm going to curl it around that way. And you see how it just comes out like... Blink. And I don't do that to my whole head because it'll look a little too perfect. And sometimes I do that like maybe once every two months or something when I'm feeling like I just want to do something different to my hair. But it is very time consuming. And I also like to make sure that I pass through the edges in case I miss them with some product. Just putting this into two sections again. How I make sure that it doesn't stay in the part is I'll flip it this way and I'll scrunch. And then I'll make sure that, like, if it's flipped this way, I'll make sure that whatever that little part is that is covered in some product. And then I'll flip it to the side and scrunch some more. So doing this just makes it, like, naturally fall in either direction. I don't like to, like, dictate the faith of my curls, basically, like, so that's why I do this. So if you haven't watched my last curly hair routine, um, this is what I used to dry my hair. It's the Ultra Chi blow dryer patch. This diffuser on it. This is just the one that came with it. Over the summer, I'll tend to let it air dry. And if I have to go somewhere really quick, then I'll diffuse it. But if I have time and if it's not cold, I'll just let it air dry because it tends to make my hair more defined. First, I put it on low and I just scrunch up my hair like this. At the very end, I'll put it on high and do the same thing. <laughs> fully dry my hair with the diffuser stand here and like do that for like four hours for it to fully dry so what I do is it's somewhat dry like it's still a little humid um I take the hair I flip it and I just scrunch it like I don't scrunch too aggressively but I scrunch it enough so that in a way it kind of dries the hair in itself oh, it is so bright oh my god um, I just woke up because last night I recorded that video a little late and then by the time that my hair was dry like everybody was asleep. So this is the pure raw truth. <laughs> so okay this is what my hair turned out to look like. As you can see it's more defined as like my last videos and it's a little more you know shiny. Um, I've noticed that I like using this combination a little more than the styling milk with the curly smoothie so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it so please follow me on my instagram my instagram is heather banny just how my name is on youtube my snapchat is heather banny with two e's well this is four two e's and my twitter although i don't use it um let me know if y'all want me to start using it twitter is heather banny go follow that
DM me if you want me to follow you back. And you know, I can start up a little Twitter. So yeah, like and subscribe if you're not already. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll catch my I'll catch ya yeah, in my next one. Bye.